In this video, we are going to continue our interface example. And now that you have your interface set up and implementing the two classes that have the get payment amount method set up, let's look at how we can use polymorphic behavior with an interface. So coming over to our main method, when we have multiple objects that all inherit from the same interface, we can force them to work polymorphically. So just like in the previous example where we had derived classes masquerading as their base class so that they could live in the same list together, we can use the same behavior with interfaces. So I'm going to create an instance of an iPayable list. I'm sorry, let's do an array. iPayable array of, let's just go ahead and say four positions. So since the array type is iPayable, I can put any object type inside of there that I want to create. And I decided to do an array so that we could create the invoice and employee objects all at once inside while declaring them and assigning them to their array positions. So I'm going to have my payable objects in position zero. I'm going to create a new invoice. And so my invoice constructor takes a part number, a description, a quantity as a decimal, and a price. I'm sorry, quantity as an integer and a price as a decimal. My second payable object in position one is going to be another invoice. So part number, description, quantity, price. My next payable object is going to be a new employee. So I need a first name, a last name, a phone number, and a salary as a decimal. And finally, one more, another employee, first name, last name, phone number, and a salary. And I wanted to demonstrate how we can create inline objects and assign them directly into an array because the array is prepared to accept any type that ultimately calls back to our iPayable interface. So now that we have all of these objects stored in the array and they're masquerading as their iPayable object type, we can create a for each statement now the for each statement can either use the iPayable as its data type or it can use var. Var is an inferred type instead of an explicit type. And it's especially useful when we're doing things polymorphically since it allows the compiler to choose the best data type for this situation based on the object that it is handling. So if I use a var and then create a variable it's going to come through and grab for each whatever object type that we have because we may not be sure which object type we have in payable objects I can then run and write out our polymorphic method And we're going to use that currency formatting. And then don't forget the parentheses at the end over here because it's a method. So in the next video, we'll run 
and we'll look at some ways that we can test when we're using interfaces polymorphically.